The Western Bulldogs are on the board in 2022, beating Sydney by 11 points in a scrappy encounter at Marvel Stadium on Thursday night. A 50-metre penalty against the Dogs in the dying stages saw the Swans draw within a goal with just over a minute left, before Marcus Bontempella sealed the four points with less than 30 seconds to go. On a night where the Dogs struggled in front of goal, Cody Waitman was a shining light with three straight goals, as he kept hitting the scoreboard where so many of his teammates faltered. The free kick count was questioned throughout the night by many and became one of the key talking points from the game, with current Sydney Ruckman Sam Nismith not mincing his words on Twitter. If I tweet about the umpires is it 50m? Sam Nismith, March 31, 2022. The dogs were handed 31 free kicks during the game, compared to Sydney's 14. This is getting out of hand, Gerard Waitley said on AFL Nation after Chad Warner was penalised for a questionable dangerous tackle in the third term. Ruckman Tim English could come under scrutiny by MRO Michael Christian after a head-high hit in the final term on Nick Blakey, which left the Swan dazed. Earlier in the night, former St Kilda and North Melbourne midfielder Nick Dal Santo was full of praise for Isaac Heaney. I cannot speak highly enough of Isaac Heaney and his game awareness, Del Santo said on AFL Nation during the third quarter. Sydney's 1.3 at halftime was their equal lowest under coach John Longmire, highlighting just how well the Dogs managed to restrict Sydney's scoring power. The Dogs started with a point to prove after two losses to start the season, kicking three goals to one in the opening term to lead but were left shuffling their defence after Zane Cordy was subbed out early due to concussion. Sydney was then forced to use their sub in the third term as Tom Hickey came off nursing a knee complaint. While Franklin was on point kicking his 1,000th goal at the SCG last Friday night and never looking like missing, his first look at goal at Marvel Stadium saw him shank a set shot as the rhythms of the game settled following last Friday night's heroics. Almost the entirety of the second quarter elapsed before a goal was scored as both sides effectively cancelled each other out for a period of time, with a late free kick against Dylan Stevens seeing Laham Vandermeer register the first and only major of the term. Sydney didn't score a single point in a quarter that turned into a slog as an inaccurate dog's side failed to make their opponents pay despite their dominance around the ground. It's like a game of soccer, Dwayne Russell said during the second term. The game is being played between the arcs. The big games keep on coming for Luke Beveridge's men, as they prepare for a marquee Saturday night encounter against Richmond at the MCG. For Sydney, after a big few weeks to start the season, they'll take on North Melbourne at the SCG on Saturday afternoon in Round 4. Full score Western Bulldogs 3.3, 4.10, 6.15, 9.17 Sydney 1.3 1.3 5.3 9.6 Western Bulldogs Waitman 3 Norton Uglhagen Vandermeer Wallace Keith Bontempelli Sydney Hayward 2 Franklin 2 Heaney McLean Ronke Wicks Golden Best Western Bulldogs Dunkley, Smith, Waitman, English, Hunter, McRae. Sydney, Lloyd, Blakey, Hayward, Franklin, Heaney. Injuries. Western Bulldogs, Zane Cordy, replaced by Mitch Wallace. Sydney, Tom Hickey, replaced by Ben Ronke. Crowd, 24,327 at Marvel Stadium.